There are some days that catch the light. Days like diamonds. Days. I was in a daze, or I must have been to have done it. When I got up, I saw this boy with a poncho standing by the old caravan, looking down at his shoes as if he'd never seen his feet before. For some reason, I felt compelled to give him my hand. For another reason, he decided to take it. And we walked off down this lane, and before we knew it, we were in a different bay and a different day. And so it began. walked along the shore and up into the dunes, me and the boy with the poncho. We sat using his poncho as a rug watching this couple trying to fly a kite in the distance until it dived out of view. Then we had a race through the dunes until my shoes filled up with sand and I fell over. When I looked up, there was an old red phone box in the middle of the dunes. I looked at it, trying to figure out if someone had actually built it there or if the sand had spread its dune arms around it, adopting it from a street somewhere. My ears were ringing. And we came out of the dunes and walked across some shrubland where some monkey boy was trying to climb a tree. I pointed to him, and Poncho told me this story about doctors transplanting the human brains of crash victims into monkeys' bodies. And I looked him in the eye, trying to see if he was joking and wondered whether there was a monkey's brain in his body and if he was trying to let me know. We sat in this bush shelter, not waiting for a bus, but eating 99s. And then Poncho Boy started making faces through the glass behind me. I tried to ignore him by looking for shapes in the clouds and I soon got lost up there. There were wizard hats and monkeys swinging one which looked like my granddad. We sat on this wall by the beach as the sun began to set. The boy jumped off to join a group playing frisbee and left me behind with his poncho. And as I watched, they all seemed like ghosts on the shore. They blurred as if under a spell. And I thought that maybe I was the ghost, that I was under a spell which is why the day seemed so unreal, magical. And as I sat, he seemed to leave me, left me with his poncho, and in a daze. There are some days that catch the light. There are some days that catch the light. Days like diamonds. Some days that catch the light, days like diamonds. From our room in the city, the distant cars sounded like waves. But here on the beach, the waves seemed miles away from the traffic. And on this realisation, the kite we were trying to fly rose higher and higher and dived towards the sand, as if the wind had gone to lunch. We ended up in this playground by the beach, standing still with the time. We watched the world spinning on its axes around us. With our stomachs still churning, we bought some food and walked away. And just as we passed it, this public phone rang, and I answered it. It was a talking clock. We climbed up to this castle, where some actors were rehearsing Hamlet, using ramparts as a set. This ghost was lying against a wall, trying to light a cigarette, and, and a grave digger was putting flowers into a girl's hair. And on the opposite side of the castle, a kite was reaching for the sky, as if to get a free look at the performance. On the path back to the beach, 
found a frisbee sitting in the jaws of a post box. Next to it, a public phone rang again. The line was dead. It was that tranquil part of the day, as I sunk into the sky, and let us play frisbee in a circle, like some ritual, waving goodbye to the sun and calling upon the moon, and pagan people joined us. There was this one girl leaving her boyfriend to play, and for a moment, a split moment, the light made it look like she had stars in her hair, and the frisbees span on like the days. There are some days that catch the light, days like diamonds. <laughs>